guys, my name is Kiva and this is DIY with KB. In today's video, we are doing coffee table styling. Coffee table styling can be so overwhelming, I know, but don't worry, I have all of the tips and tricks you need in today's video. And even if you're not a modern home decor lover, we're doing modern farmhouse, glam, and several different modern variations. So believe me, there is something that will help you today. Before we get into the video, please remember to subscribe, like this video, and check me out on Instagram at kiva.brent. Now let's get into it. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to style my coffee table in several different ways and I'll tell you why I'm doing what I'm doing and what type of style it would work for. So while I am a person who loves modern decor, I have clients who like just about everything. So I need to know how to style in their homes too. So hopefully these tips will help you today, but let's just jump into style number one. Obviously, to style a coffee table, you need some coffee table books. Coffee table books are all the rage right now and they're really, really easy to get and they tend to be rather affordable. My top places to shop for coffee table books is Home Goods and Amazon. On my Amazon storefront, I have a whole page dedicated to coffee table books. So if you're looking for some, be sure to check out there. But what I like to do on every coffee table, regardless of the style, is to stack some coffee table books. So I'm going in with Live Beautiful by Athena Calderon and the white book, and I'm just stacking them on top of one another. Um, and you can stack your books in two different types of way. Either you can have the um, spines line up perfectly, or you can have them kind of like a little staircase sort of situation. So first I'm just gonna start by putting them right here on the coffee table. So this is going to be a design that I actually would consider to be a little bit more maximalist if you're going for luxury home decor. So no, I'm not saying that if you have one of those beautiful architectural digest homes where everything is cluttered but intentionally so, that's not what I'm talking about. This is if you wanna do modern. This is kind of on the more cluttered end for me and that's really interesting because they actually posted this on Instagram and so many of you are like, yeah, I love this, this is minimalist. And I was like, no, it's actually not. This is, this is definitely an in-between. But first, I'm going in with those books. And so when you're working with a coffee table, it's all about different heights because you don't want everything to look flat unless you're going for something super modern. And even when you do that, if it is all flat, you still have different textures. So now that we have these really low books here, I'm going to go in with a massive, massive vase behind it. So this is a huge vase from West Elm. They are so affordable, I absolutely love them. And I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm not gonna put anything in it. It's just going to stand here alone. And again, I'm matching tones. So this is going to be a really nice, neutral, earthy coffee table styling. So I don't want anything too harsh. You want different heights, and I really love busts and sculptures. I just really enjoy them in my home. So I'm going on with this bust that I got from Home Goods. I'm just gonna set it right here. So again, you have three different heights going on right now. Now I'm going in with a different coffee table book. Again, look at all these colors. They match really well. So this is white, this is white, this is kind of like a taupe, and this is a taupe in there as well as white. So you see everything is kind of matching right now. And this book has a pop of black. So the only black I'm going to introduce to the table is going to go right on top of that book so that they match really well. And again, this book also has green in it. So adding a pop of green is crucial to a beautifully styled coffee table because it looks a little bit more lived in. Like you like plants and you sit here and you want your home to be really warm. Again, I don't always use real florals because the lighting is not great in my home. But again, this is the only place where I'm doing black. And again, there are different heights here. So the chestnut branches take you even higher than this vessel, but this vessel is smaller than this one. And you know, there's just a lot going on. There's lots of dimension. You don't want your coffee table to fall flat. I wanna add something that's way more earthy, that's going to remind you of trees and nature and all that good stuff, because you have the earthiness from these branches, but these aren't real, right? So let's get some wood in here. And again, I have a shagreen coffee table, so if we can make it work, look good with this, people who have wooden coffee tables and stuff like that, it's going to work even better. So what I'm going in with is a dough bowl. This is from at home. It was only about $20. That is a great place to go and dough bowls are always amazing because they can stand alone or you can put some garland in there. So this is the Studio McGee garland and I love the wood on wood, but there's different textures because you have the garland with the different shapes. So it makes it interesting. It's not just flat, but you could also do this 
without anything in there and you just have a nice open vessel it's not too busy but i would say that this is on the busier end of coffee table styling and before i wrap up this coffee table styling i want to show you how intentional i was with the placement so when you have a rectangular coffee table you are drawn to kind of putting everything right in the middle of the coffee table right so i feel like when you first start doing things your inclination is to kind of go like put everything in line here you know so that you have space to work back there and back here but you see it makes the coffee table look cluttered and long and you don't really like that you want the coffee table to be decorated but you also want it to be functional so that means being able to align things well and they're just really slight things that you have to modify with your coffee table to make it work when i say that when i style a coffee table i get a whole bunch of things and i bring them out i put one thing down i move it around and something that's also really valuable is not only going on pinterest but taking pictures of your own designs and stepping back taking a look at them and saying do i like them just in real life do i like them just in the picture do i like them in both For style number two, we're going to do something a lot more simple. So this is going to be perfect for someone who one, has a glam household or has something really modern or something really minimal and they have a really strict color scheme. So this is mostly gonna be for people who have a black and white color scheme. You could do this with different colors. It does make it a little, little bit more difficult because it's all about cohesion with this and you'll see what I mean as I go along. So to start this, you're gonna want a stack of books these are only black and white books because I'm doing a black and white color scheme. Once I have my books, all I'm doing now is adding um, little decorative pieces. I'm doing candles because everyone loves candles. Um, they're really easy to get in white and black and stuff like that. So they fit really easily again into your color scheme. Um, and they're the perfect thing to have on a coffee table because when you're sitting down and having a nice conversation with something, someone, there is nothing better than having some nice scents nearby. Golly geez, my diffuser and my candle were turned and I didn't know, but I fixed it. So now that we have this, we're gonna add one more thing and we're gonna see what you like best. So if you don't really want any more color at all on the table, what you're gonna do is you're going to get a glass vase like this one. So all I'm adding here is an oversized glass vase and some fresh florals. I accidentally put hot water in there. So it's a little steamy, it's a little excited, but this is what you do. And if you don't wanna work with glass, because glass, it's really easy to get fingies on there and smudges and dust, that's really noticeable. Instead of glass, you can go in with something like this. This vase is from Ikea, and you're just gonna put it here to the side, again, with the fresh florals probably like that right next to it and that is it it is nice and simple you only have three colors black white and green which is the only reason why i got away with this little green candle here um, and it's really simple and you have so much space on the coffee table to keep doing things that you want to do so let's stop for a second and talk about the roots of coffee table styling there are a few things that you really want to consider when you are styling your coffee table. One, it is the overall style of your home, and two, it is about what you're using your coffee table for. So babe and I, we just sit over here, we don't eat over here, we don't use the coffee table for anything else. So we can have the core that kind of spreads out more along the table, but if you're somebody who eats at your coffee table, you play board games at your coffee table, it's not practical to have the core that is on every single corner and takes up the whole space. So instead of having your coffee table be an art piece, which it kind of is in our home, it has to be practical. So a style like this is perfect because it's concentrated right in the middle and you can keep on living and still have the decor there. Now this option, again, I've said the word modern like 50 million times in this video because obviously that is just my preference. And I'm super partial, but this is a very clean looking coffee table styling. I kind of broke a rule that I kind of said earlier, but I'll explain to you why it's okay. So I lined up everything in the middle of a table, which again was the rule that I said not to do. So to kind of balance that out, I put a tray there and then I played with the height again. 
This is a really good option if you actually read your coffee table books um, because they're easily accessible. And I, again, went with black and white and I varied them. So since there was white on top here, there's white on the bottom there, um, you can do all one color or you know mix them up i wouldn't recommend going super colorful with this because i think therefore it's just going to look a little bit busy and then i put a pedestal a pedestal i put a pedestal bowl here and what i would do is fill this with moss and then you have that nice little tray there again you could do candles if you wanted i would just leave it empty and you could also use it for your remotes and stuff like that because nothing really clashes with coffee table decor like practical items so putting all the things you leave on the coffee table like remotes matches your phone charger in that tray kind of stop prevents it from getting cluttered which is really easy to do so having something on your table that can be a catch-all space is really important to incorporate into your design and like i said you can put um moss in this bowl pine cones any type of floral piece you could even put potpourri in there but the dog loves potpourri so we don't do that anymore and i got banned from using moss because i'll put it somewhere and then i'm like oh this would look good somewhere else and so i'll just drag moss and it'll be a little moss trail into whatever room so i've been banned by babe and honestly that's fair because it is super annoying but if you really love moss and you're confident that you're going to keep it on your coffee table this is the perfect opportunity to use it This styling is for the person who wants an all white home, something that's really neutral and airy. This actually reminds me of Athena Calderon. Just again, something really nice and simple with lots of earth tones. We don't have any black or anything like that. It's all white and tan and beige. So I went in with this huge bust. I've been being completely honest. I wouldn't recommend doing a bust like this if your coffee table isn't up against the wall. When you're doing coffee table styling, you also need to think about the different perspectives of a table. So because our house is really just like decorative, we only ever sit on the couch that babe is sitting on to film this for some reason. Um, it doesn't matter what the back looks like, but sometimes you have to think about all the different perspectives, how it looks from the back, the front, and both sides. So when you have a bust like this, it's not really giving you much from the back. Neither is the vase because you can't see what's going on in the front. So that's something you need to pay attention to in your home, especially if you have a more open floor plan where your living room is. That being said, we were playing with heights again. As always, we went with the nice white bust. We went with this cream beige vase. I wanted to add some even more earthiness, so I put this twig in here. This would also be the opportunity to do a huge overflowing piece of greenery, live greenery, um, that's like kind of just spurting up and sh like giving you like a whole tree in your home, giving you life. And then in front, we just did coffee table books. Um, again, very neutral in color. And I went with this vessel, which is from at home. It was super affordable and it's like a cement. So, and there's lots of cracks in it. So it does look earthy as well. And like I've said, every time you can see that this goes really well with the coffee table. Um, it's just nice and bright, which I love in contrast to my white sofas and my white artwork. Um, I think it is a beautiful addition and I honestly think this is what I'm going to keep for the next few days, probably that's it, in my own home. Something else I wanted to add that if you're gonna do a style like this and you want even more earthiness, a crystal does work obviously because they come from the earth. So I would probably just like replace this with a crystal and oversized one. You've seen the ones that I have in my home and if you can't find them again, I have a video on how to make them. Um, but I really love this setup, but there are some things you could do to jazz it up. And again, not everything has to go in the center. It really depends on um, the functionality of your coffee table. I like to keep all the edges clear, but you could spread some of these things out. So you could do more books in that corner or that, co like literally all the corners. You could do just about anything you wanted. Um, but again, take pictures of your styling and kind of remember it and make modifications that way. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you learned something and you're feeling less overwhelmed styling your coffee table. Again, if you need any good resources for coffee table books or coffee table decor, be sure to check out my Amazon storefront. It will be linked down below. I have all of the affordable goodies for you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video and until next time, have a beautiful day.